sooner or later, you got to do it. You got to change the oil in your Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT. It's quick, it's easy. Stay tuned, we're going to show you how to do it. So how do you know when it's time to change the oil in your Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT? Well, hey, Jeep's tried to make it easy on you with what they call the Auto Oil Change Indicator System. And what that is is some sensors in there that's gonna give you a warning light on your dash when it's time to change the oil. The computer looks at many parameters. Hey, have you been running it hard? Have you been running it hot? Have you been towing a lot? Whatever it is, it's going to tell you, hey, it's time to change the oil. And when that indicator light comes on and the chime rings, Jeep recommends that you change that oil within 500 miles. Now, under no circumstances should you run that engine oil more than 10,000 miles, 350 hours or 12 months. And if you run this in a real severe environment, off-road, dry, dusty, anything that's really going to get into that engine and get dirty, uh, Jeep recommends no more than 4,000 miles maximum between oil changes. Now when it is time to change the oil, most people just take their Jeep down to the local dealer or maybe a local service center. But hey, if you're a do-it-yourself type or you want to become a do-it-yourself type, we're going to encourage you to change the oil yourself, to do it yourself. So hey, let's get at it. Tools needed for your oil change? A 13 mil wrench or socket, a 24 mil socket, a ratchet extension, a seal pick. Uh, it's nice to have some shop towels or rags on hand. You're also gonna need a funnel and an oil drain pan and an extra quart of the same kind of oil to have on hand just for future top ups. All right, so with the hood open, let's familiarize ourselves with the components of the oil system we need to mess with. Right here is your oil dipstick. In the center, we have our oil filter cap. And all the way over here, we've got our engine oil cap or also known as the 710 cap. We're gonna start by loosening the engine oil cap. And then we're gonna break loose the oil filter cap. Now you don't need to unscrew it all the way. We just have to unscrew it a couple turns and that'll break the engine vacuum and allow the oil to drain out more efficiently. The engine oil drain plugs located on the very bottom of the engine on the back side of the oil pan. Use your 13 mil wrench or socket to break it loose and then unscrew it. You have a couple rags on hand just in case you get a little rambunctious with the oil. Now while we're waiting for the oil to drain from the engine, take a quick look at your oil drain plug. Notice on the bottom of the flange, it's got a rubber seal on it. This is to help seal up against the oil pan to stop any leaks. So make sure you clean that really well. Once the oil is stopped draining out of the oil pan, wipe up the sealing surface really good with a clean rag and reinstall the oil drain plug. Make sure to put a little new oil on that rubber face just to help it seal better and then tighten it with your 13 mil wrench. Then break out your torque wrench and torque it to 20 foot pounds. Back up to the engine compartment, we're gonna take a clean rag and set it over the top of the alternator just to protect it. And then we'll reach in and finish unscrewing the oil filter cap. And with a rag ready to catch any drips, we pull the oil filter cap up and out. And you'll notice the oil filter comes right with it. Start by pulling the old filter out of the filter cap and then we'll take a clean rag and clean the filter cap up really well. We then take an o-ring pick, carefully slide it underneath the old o-ring and peel it off the oil filter cap. Make sure to clean that o-ring groove. Open up one of the quarts of your oil. Make sure to use a clean finger, dip it down in and then carefully coat the new o-ring that comes with the oil filter. We pick up our oil cap and slide the new o-ring into place. Make sure to go in with your o-ring pick and just run it around underneath the o-ring just to make sure we've taken all the twist out of the o-ring. We can then take the new filter and snap it in place and it's ready to go back in the Jeep. Use a clean rag wipe out the, the very inside of the oil filter chamber 
and then slide the oil filter cap with the new filter back into place. Screw that in by hand, then get out your torque wrench and the 24 millimeter socket and torque to 18 foot-pounds. Now it's time to start adding the engine oil. Lift up your oil filler cap and add in five quarts of your Royal Purple Zero W20 oil. What about other oils? There are good brands of oils to choose from. Just keep in mind that FCA Jeep recommends the use of oils that meet the MS6395 certification put out by Chrysler. To avoid any potential warranty void issues, make sure that whatever oil you do use has that MS6395 certification. And with the five quarts of Royal Purple in, set your engine oil cap back in place and twist it in. Make sure you haven't left any tools or rags, anything under the hood. And now we're ready to start it up so that we can get the engine lubricated, let it drain back down, and then we're gonna check to see how much oil we have. To make sure that we have the proper amount of oil in, hold the dipstick. Wipe off the end of it with a clean towel. Dipstick goes back in, all the way down and pull it back out. Now we can take a look, and sure enough, we got oil right up to the top mark. Without pushing the brake pedal, place the ignition in the on run mode by pushing the start button twice. Navigate to the oil life submenu under vehicle info. Press and hold the okay button, and it's reset. So that's it for the oil change. As you can see, it's quick and easy to do, and you can do it yourself. So, did you like the video? Click that like button. Have you subscribed yet? If not, click that button too. Keep up to date on all our future videos. Leave any questions or comments down below in the comment section. Speaking of down below, hit that description box. Take a look at that. You've got a link in there to where to find an oil kit for your 3.6 JL or JT. And find out more about us here at Northridge 4x4. Until next time, thanks.